Nouveau Iron How to Install Pre-Drilled Railing Kits for Stairs. You'll need to purchase material for your handrail, such as a 2x4 or our decorative handrail, and appropriate fasteners to secure the handrail. You'll also need one pre-drilled railing kit in the width you require, two to three packs of SRAR pre-drilled stair connectors, depending on the length of your rail section, as well as post caps and post base covers for each post. Today, we're going to be installing stair railing with a Nuvo Iron pre-drilled railing kit. Our pre-drilled wooden railing kits are a great way of elevating your outdoor space. Both convenient and stylish, one box contains everything aside from the posts to create a modern yet classic railing. You'll need a pencil, drill, saw, square, level, clamps, mallet, and a tape measure to complete your project. It's important to make sure this product, as well as the fasteners you use, are right for your project. You can learn more about this at nouveauiron.com. Our 36RKB and RKB836 railing kits have a finished railing height of 36 inches high. Now, decide which length works for you. Our kits are available in two widths, a 6 foot long section or an 8 foot long section. To get the rail length, lay your rail on the steps between the top and bottom stair posts. To get the angle required to cut your rails, clearly mark where it meets the post. For some rail sections, you may have to place your rail slightly off-center to ensure the pre-drilled holes for the balusters near the end of the rail are as even as possible and also don't leave too large of a gap between the last baluster and the post. Next, we're going to remark our rails to account for the rail connector hardware. Subtract the thickness of your connectors from the final measurement. Now you'll have your final rail cut measurement. Make sure to align the pre-drilled holes and clamp the rails together with the top rail inverted before cutting. Cut your rails at the appropriate angle. Then unclamp the rails. Now attach your SRAR stair rail adapter connectors in the rail holes. The top and bottom connectors should be facing opposite one another. With your top rail on its side and against a stable surface, attach the balusters to the connectors. Once the balusters are attached to the top rail, grab your bottom rail and align the balusters with the SRAR connector. When attaching the top rail, slightly pull up on the baluster to seat it into the pre-drilled holes in the top rail. Then you can take a mallet and tap the bottom rail into place to attach the full railing section. With that done, let's attach our rail end connectors. Slide the SRCs over the ends of the rails and attach with the screws provided through the back of the brackets into the rail. To determine where to install your rail, use clamps or have someone temporarily hold your section in place. Then measure up from the nose of the stair to the top of the rail. This height for stairs is typically 36 inches high with the handrail. Account for the thickness of your handrail for the final install height measurement. Mark your posts and use a square to create a level mark. Place the section so the top of the railing meets your railing height mark then install it using the screws provided with your rail end connectors. Decided to use a handrail? We'll be using the Nuvo Decorative Pressure Treated Top Rail, but you can also use a 2x4 or deck board. Measure your rail section and cut your top rail to fit. Then attach the rail using fasteners that work best with the thickness of your material. We'll be using number 8 fasteners 2.5 inches in length. And that's it! you've successfully installed one section of pre-drilled wood railing for stairs. Now, you've completely transformed your outdoor space and created a beautiful and complete look that'll last you for years. For more information about this or any of our other products, visit nouveauiron.com.